Today at Crossing South, we get to see how the Valle de Guadalupe matures to a higher potential, both for the big time and small time players. Coming to you right now. Hey folks, how you doing? <laughs> no, uh, we did not travel back in time to 1908. I'm not an English explorer, and this is Valle de Guadalupe. We're at a place called Cuatro Cuatros, and this is actually the setup. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Why don't you come along and see where I'm staying? Follow me. Folks, doesn't this feel like you know, we're literally in Dr. Livingston's quarters somewhere in Africa. I feel like I should have a waxed mustache curl right now going on and maybe a place for my double barrel shotgun, you know, my hunting rifle. <laughs> it's like you're outside, but you're not. For a little stubble for the uh, manzi, for the uh, man card. Oh. oh, so nice. Let's keep exploring this place. We're gonna meet someone who's gonna to talk to us about it. We're gonna have breakfast now. So, I invite you to follow us along. It's crossing south. Guadalupe Valley is so raw that people are vying to create the next original idea. This one's pretty good. Cuatro cuatros, people kind of related with four, it's four fours. Yeah. And in Spanish it's Cuatro cuatros, and it can be like cuatro cuartos. Right, right, right. Rooms. Four rooms. <laughs> yeah. So they call it. Is, is there any availability? I say yes. Uh, it's it's more rooms. It's eighteen rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, did you only have four rooms? Right? <laughs> yeah. So um, it's a real estate development on a winery. Adventure park. Yes, we have this restaurant too. Uh, eighteen tents, which are Eight. the rooms. Right, right. The, the owners bought the land like uh, twelve years ago. Okay. Uh, to start building this new uh, real estate development. So originally that, that was the intention, to make a real estate development here. Yes, this, this is, this is the, that's the intention. And then we have this little uh, e uh, business around, which will be the services for the owners. Right, so right, you have right. So you'll have your own wine that you can produce with the, with the grapes that we have in the area okay. on a common winery. At the end, there are the services that we want to, to connect so you can have all the services in one place. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's enjoy breakfast and then we can we can hit the road. It's crossing south, folks. Don't go anywhere. We're just gonna you know, take care of this stuff right here before <laughs> we continue exploring. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you a lot, my, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. You have deer here too? We have a lot of deer. Really? Then, yeah, when we have this, uh, we put some big buckets of water. So they can drink? They can drink. And we have seen uh, the population increase every, every... The deer population? Yes. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know deer you know, were native to this area. It's all sanded and it's like a natural jacuzzi. Oh, really? Yeah, there, you, can, you can sit there. You can fill it with water? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This is from a, a friend called Claudia Torrent. Wow. And he works with the wood and that's you make awesome. incredible pieces. Awesome idea. So smooth and soft. Look at that. Again, keeping the environment safe. So that's why they are on this uh, high level. Uh huh. So you don't. Uh, You're not damaging. The, the, yeah, the bottom. Right. Then we were uh, thinking in a way how to keep the bugs away. Okay. So we put grease on every leg. Oh really? And it works perfectly. There we have. Grease. We haven't. Yes. Each leg has grease. Yeah. So we haven't had any trouble with. The with, with the friends, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And why, why tents, what do you say? Uh, you know, how did Pato Cuatros come up with that idea? What, what was the idea behind it? We were looking for a low impact construction. Uh -huh. Low impact in a way of bringing the materials, low impact in the, in the building materials and everything. So, so it's like you're camping on the tent, but with a nice bed, super cool shower. It was an amazing shower. Yeah. Beautiful scenery around. 
the birds started. Yeah, the wood on your feet is is just. It, it was really nice. It was like really. It. Nice. So glad you liked it. Huh? This is the wine region of Mexico, so of course, they make very niche, high quality wine, and boy do they ever. So as good as it was, we wanted to see the raw product. His cellar is in the midst of the vineyards. Mauricio, this is, this is some view. <laughs> yes. What, what, what is this place? This is the winery from Cuatro Cuatros. Okay. Um, I see barrel, giant barrels, that's your cellar? Yes, this is a gravity system for low uh, electricity consumption. So the first floor is where we receive the grape, the little grape that goes directly to the tanks on the second floor. Really? We ferment there. When it's done fermenting, we, through gravity again, we put them under this uh, deck yeah. where we have the oak barrels. You have the oak barrels be up yes. below this deck. Yes, so it's a gravity system, three levels. Mauricio, this is, this is like a dream right here. Well, what, what do you do here? What, what's this uh, giant area for? This is uh, open space with this nice roof and lights for making uh, social events, like oh, really? weddings. So, so opening these doors was pretty massive. It, it seemed like Godzilla or King Kong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So, they're pretty heavy, right? Yeah, each they weighed 1.5 tons. Wow. wow. Yeah, the idea is to have the wine secure. <laughs> it, 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 it's pretty, pretty secure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you buy this wine in the store? No, you cannot. What? This is only only wine for the property, so. For the property? Yeah, I mean, we plant our own vines so we can have our control of the whole process. Okay. So we have this winery only for the little grapes that we have here, we don't have much. So we need to focus a lot in, in, in quality. So we are making this a uh, nice Cabernet. <laughs> Mauricio, it's, it's, it's a delicious Cabernet, but I mean, if you're, if you're just making, it, if you're just making, I, mean, I, don't want, I hope you don't mind me asking, but if you're making it for the property, then how do you make a profit on this thing? Well, we, we don't make that much profit. Actually, it's, it's uh, that's why we can make this super high quality wine. If it was a business, at, for, for, for instance, uh -huh. we'll be like um, counting all the costs on it. So we try to make Try this. to cut corners to make a profit. Yes. And so, you're, you're not doing that? No. We, we, so we ferment everything in, in French oak, brand new from Segar Moreau, with, uh, with uh, these uh, stainless steel tanks, top of the line. The smaller, the, the sweeter, right? The concentration of... The concentration of flavors. Density of flavor, right? Yeah, this, for example, has a nice skin, but the seed is not ready yet. So you can see there's a green yeah. seed. We want it to be like a little brownish. We uh -huh. can have the tannins with it. Okay. You, you can, it can be... Sweet on the taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's the sugar. Wow. We, the sugar we need. It's really sweet. Yeah. Th that sugar we transform it, or, or the yeast transform it into, into alcohol. Awesome, my friend. Yeah. It's crossing south. I mean, it's nice to see people doing this for the joy of doing it. So if you're not worried about, like my said, if you're not worried about making a profit, then you really can spare no expense, you know, because it doesn't matter, you know, if. You're making a buck or not? You're you're focused on quality of the products. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yes. Oh yeah, 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 that's good. It's spot right there. Yeah, that's right. Well, this is good Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm. Ah, it's crossing south, folks. So these guys are taking advantage of the expanse and territory they possess. They thought to themselves, how can we stretch our legs? And the answer, of course, is Baja's largest zip line. I can't believe my producer has convinced me to do this again. I thought we'd sworn off zip lines for good. I'll tell you this much, folks. I hope this is the last zip line I ever see. Is that going to be enough to hold me? Please tell me it's going to be all right. Oh, my goodness. Why did I choose this line of work? Wait, let me cut to me eating. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why. 
<laughs> I feel a little bit more comfortable. Abraham here, he's been doing it for 11 years. I thought they were, these are like workers they had here, maybe ranch hands, and they, do, they would just train once they installed this thing. No, this guy's been doing it for a while, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, they have installed 70, 70 different adventure parks with the system. Están muchos parques que a poco. Okay. I'm not ready, but let's 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 do it, I guess. <laughs> what can I show you running here? Uh, what do you say? You're getting me to do this stuff. Ah, there you go. I'm injured, but I can still do it. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Seal Team Six about to drop. <laughs> about to drop. <laughs> oh. Man, I was nursing a pulled hamstring, so even to walk hurt. Is that good? Yeah. Oh boy. Now, the ascent. Oh, I'm walking injured. <laughs> That's what I do for you folks. So we're, we walk to the place where the first launching zone will be. Launch, I don't like that word. <laughs> I fear launches. I just don't think humans were meant to be launched. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's the Galios, the instrument of my torture. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> it's Whoa. a beautiful view. Definitely is. Can't argue with that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You know, coming up here and just looking at this, if, if this was the only reason I had come up here, it would be well worth it. I look at this and it just makes me think of how, you know, as humans, we're just all piled up together in cities and we forget about what's out there. This is, this is Baja California, away from cities. And look at this beauty, this, this range, the ocean and the, as a backdrop. When you separate, you detach yourself from the rat race, from, from the daily grind of life, and you, you're, you're put in front of something like this. It just does something to you. I would recommend anyone out there, regardless of a zip line like this, just anywhere that can find a place like this, you, you take a time out of your, out of your life to, to do it on a regular basis. You know what terrifies me? I don't know if you ever saw that movie, Cliffhanger. Yes. Or at the beginning of the scene where these things start breaking, and slowly the bell just starts giving way. <laughs> yeah. Every time I get on these things, that's what's picturing in my head, just so you know. No. That particular scene. <laughs> yeah, now I remember. Now you're trying to get me scared. <laughs> I kind of remember now that remember. scene. Right? Well, I, I will admit, out of all the zip lines that I've, that I've been on, which I've been two for the show, uh, this harness seems to be the sturdiest. Yeah, so. this is Kevlar thing. Kevlar, so is it bulletproof? Da, 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 da. Well, <laughs> so, so you, you'll be like in a, in a nice... Kevlar butt, Forrest Gump, shot in the buttocks. Yeah. Right? So that anxiety you see there, that's real. Deep prayer going on right there. I'm hyperventilating, folks. Por favor, protejanme. <laughs> I got las cosas bien. Yeah, as I say that, he puts that thing on the wrong side. Oiga, ya ven. ¿Cómo se llama? Miguel, por favor. I don't want to go. Oh. Okay, here goes nothing. Folks, it is thrilling, it is breathtaking, it is terrifying all in one. Oh boy, another scary uh, mission accomplished. It's crossing south. <laughs> they have an amazing setup over here. This thing's pretty comfortable, but I'm just not made for this kind of stuff. I do it for you folks, I do it for you. <laughs> uh, it's crossing south, don't go anywhere. So now for the cool down. We begin the descent. It's my favorite part. We started in the mountains, but ended in front of the Pacific. 
we're headed to a, a bar they have, a very scenic bar as you can see. <laughs> Even the, 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 the getting there, the, it's not just a destination, it's also the trip in itself, the adventure of it. I mean, look at this. But it's part of the property, it's part of Cuatro Cuatros. Amazing, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Almost as scary as a zip line, but not quite. <laughs> we see the ocean, which we so long to see. That, my friends, is the Pacific. That's the Pacific Ocean. And boy, is it ever. Well, the ocean is. Don't know about the ride. Not very Pacific, if you ask me rough terrain, but well worth it because the payoff, once you get to their little outdoor lounge, is awe-inspiring. Well, what is this, uh, Mauricio? This is Buddha. Other than an awesome place, <laughs> what is this? This is the Buddha bar. Okay. You remember the deer? Yeah, which the, is is Buddha. Native, native deer here? Yeah, you have the... Uh, oh my goodness, this is amazing. You have this bar Holy open on weekends. You have the chairs, we put the little blanket so you can be more comfortable. We make like the ceremony wedding here too. Yes, I can see it. So uh, you can have a wedding here, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I think I'll keep it, folks. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> you can sit here. You can sit there, and when the bar is open, we we put these little blankets. So oh, on top of them. Yes. Okay. This is like a living room. Mauricio? It is. Oh, please welcome. Welcome to my home. <laughs> Let your heart be merry. Eat, drink. No horses allowed in this no, club, right? No, no, no. Because <laughs> they start eating the furniture. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see those bathrooms you were mentioning. Let's go. Okay, I don't think, Mauricio, we've ever gone to a, you know bathrooms on this show. So they better be worth it. Yeah, 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 they will, they are. <laughs> Let's see if what Marisa says, you know, it's true, huh? Or kind of like, oh, wait. <laughs> this is the urinal, the most therapeutic, relaxing, and scenic peeing you would have ever done if, if you come here. <laughs> Follow me, folks. I have to wash my hands. There's not a mirror here, so you're not gonna be able to like fix up your hair. But 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 let's, let's wash our hands. <laughs> it's, it's worth it, isn't it? There's a mirror in the back anyway. But look at that. Isn't, isn't this something, folks? Isn't this something? This is how we pee in Cuatro Cuatros. It's an amazing way, yeah. With the architectural <laughs> design, close to the nature design. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Mauricio, they, there's a program on TV that talks about top 10 bathrooms in the world. Uh, I think we need to submit this one. Uh, <laughs> well, let's do it. <laughs> goodbye, beautiful bathroom. Well, folks, after a very enjoyable day here at Cuatro Cuatros, alas, it's time to say goodbye. But don't go anywhere. More Crossing South coming your way. Stay with us, folks. Domestic and foreign investors are shaping Valle de Guadalupe into the world-famous hot destination that it is. But big-time players aren't the only ones getting in on the action. Local folks from Baja are dipping their toes into this utopic lifestyle. I mean, how has life been now that, you know, since you started living here in Valle de Guadalupe? Well, it's, uh, it's amazing. I've been living in Ensenada before. Yeah. For many years. Now I've been living here for three years. Three years? Three and years. How, how, I mean, do you regret it? Are you, I mean, are you ratified? What, what, do, what do you think well, of your decision? Well, of course. I've been trying to live here for uh, 20 years ago, since 20 years ago. And well, I find this area which goes with my needs about uh, peaceful places to live. Now who doesn't need a peaceful place? <laughs> everybody, everybody needs this. These times are hard, so I, I finally find this place. So that's why I, I take advantage of the area, which is a great area. Are there more people like you, like, you know, local people, you know, not, not, not Americans, not people from maybe Mexico City, but local people like you 
who are doing like small businesses like you uh, or, or are there a few, just a few? Just a few. Just a People few. People start to know about this area. Okay. You know, the, the wine uh, country, it's uh, blowing up. But it's mostly larger co corporations. Larger corporations. Small people, small uh, uh, areas like this, this is one of a few. Really? Yeah. So very few local people are, are, are doing this. You're, you're making wine? Yes, I'm making wine. A very good wine. Very good wine. Very good wine. <laughs> <laughs> what, what should I say? It's called Minas del Valle? Minas del Valle is the name of the, of the company. It's a small company. Okay. It's a family, family, family company. Family company. Okay. Yeah. And, and so uh, what's your production run in comparison to a normal winery, the ones we'll wow, find? Wow, wow, wow. My, my production this year was uh, 75 boxes, 75 which meant like uh, 900 bottles. Okay. My son is uh, moving all this uh, product in Mexico City. Okay. So uh, the people who... who By moving it, you mean selling it over there? Selling, yes, yes, yes. Okay. He's selling there. What kind of feedback are you getting from your wine? Oh, it's great. It's a young, uh, it's a, a young wine, but uh, they admire because it has a lot of body, good smell, good uh, taste, and good color. They Ooh. like the wine. If really? They like the bottle. They white. They like everything about our wine, and they 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 get amazed because they say this is so young and it has a lot of body. This it's, it's a great it's a great wine. So I feel happy because that. So, so normally a young wine wouldn't have that good of... They uh, wouldn't, of course not. Oh, wow. Uh, because, as you know, the wines, as old as old that they get, as better they get. Of course, of course. So if you being a, a young wine ma winemaker... Yes. Well, you know what I mean. Young I winemaker. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, Young wine. <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh, you're still young, you're still young. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Salvador, I see there's some, some cabins here. What's going on with that? Are you, you, you guys renting property here too? Well, my neighbor, which is my friend, he's, gonna, um, he's making these uh, small cabins for rent. There's a lot of uh, shows bringing by the it's wineries. There's a lot of concerts, open air concerts, concerts in a this lot area, of concerts, right? Yeah. And, but there's no place to stay. No lodging. So you guys are filling that void. Eh? Yeah. If, if in outside investors are benefiting from the boom, from the, uh, the boom by the Guadalupe is experiencing, why not local folks, right? Why not the little people too? <laughs> because you know why? Because a um, few years ago, this uh, was a, a, an area of uh, they didn't uh, uh, plant wines. I mean uh, grapes. They they used to use. Well, the, what was this area known for then? Uh, for bricks, red bricks. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Right. Good red bricks. Good red. Good bricks. red bricks. Yeah. So is that industry dead or is it still going on? It's dead. Really? It's dead. Would it be accurate to say it's for, for the best? It's for the best. <laughs> it's for the best because there used to be a family business. Not enough, not too much, uh, but uh, now there's more people living here because of the grapes. Right, and it's more aesthetic. It's a product that makes people happy. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> even I. <laughs> even I. Uh, how old are these plants? Are they giving fruit already? No, not yet. We planted uh, last May. Last May. In two years, uh, you will have grapes that you can use them. After three years, it's great to use them. So, so you're so three years away yeah. from having your own grapes. Our own grapes. It takes awesome. time, but the plants are going uh, doing fine now. So uh, these are your babies right now, right? Yes, we love them. <laughs> it's nice to be here and to see how you know locals are also taking advantage of the interest that this valley is generating mm -hmm. some people all over so not a bad place to carve for yourself a little piece of paradise is it the family invited us for dinner with nothing but local products on the table and we would not have ended this trip any other way valle de guadalupe does not cease to amaze us folks the people, the ideas, the food, the landscapes. We hope you help us explore it more next time, the next time we cross south. You can find maps and information about the places you just saw, or you may order a copy of this program on DVD at CrossingSouth.com. We also do Facebook.